What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Hall's Capital video. So this is an airdrop season video, guys, and I'm going to be doing a follow-up to our Crescent Network video. So if anyone followed along with that first video on the test net, you should be kind of familiar uh, with this overall platform that we're going to go through. In this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to claim the airdrop, how to get the airdrop transferred to another network in case in the event you decide to sell your airdrop um, and you decide you don't want to hold the tokens. Uh, and I'll show you all the things you can do with Crescent. Now, we actually went over uh, the overall opportunity in detail in the last video when I showed you the test net. Uh, so definitely, I recommend checking that video out uh, just to help familiarize yourself uh, with the overall opportunity. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Uh, very simple. The website you're going to come to, guys, is crescent.network. Once you come on over here, there is an airdrop page. Uh, if you connect your app to your connect your Kepler wallet to this uh, application, uh, it will automatically add the network to you. The Crescent One network um, is going to be added to your Kepler. Once that network is added, you should see your tokens automatically show up for you. So it's automatically there. It will either show you that you have the airdrop or it will tell you you're not eligible for the airdrop. Now, as far as who is eligible for the airdrop uh, in the Medium articles, and again, we went over this in the first video, you had to be an Atom delegator. You either had to uh, vote on a couple of early proposals, uh, governance proposals, had to supply liquidity to the Gravity Dex uh, early on. I uh, showed you guys how to do that in our Cosmos Station wallet, uh, as well as on Emerus and a couple of other opportunities. Uh, we went over how to do all of those things as well. Um, so once you have your uh, recognize that you're eligible for the airdrop, guys, uh, there are a couple of steps you have to do. This airdrop is set up exactly like how the Osmosis one was and a couple of other airdrops where they require you to do tasks and interact. These tasks are all the tasks that we did on the test net. So again, if you've done the test net video, you should be very familiar. First things first, you have to stake some Crescent. Now, this is really cool because it gives me the opportunity to talk about the fact Crescent is actually coming out the gate offering liquid staking. So when you stake Crescent, you're going to get B Crescent, a liquid staking token uh, that can be used in DeFi farming. You can swap and you can exchange for it. Uh, so it actually has uh, some additional use case while it's staking and earning you pretty decent interest. Um, as of actually yesterday, when I started the claim, uh, this was a lot higher. It was, I think, at like 58, I want to say like close to like 58% is what it was at. Uh, so APR has come down a little bit, but no big deal. They fluctuate and they go up and down all the time. Uh, so first things first, let's go ahead and stake a few. Uh, and to do the staking, guys, you don't have to stake large amounts. Um, so again, decide whether this is an airdrop or an, a project that you want to be a part of. Uh, so that way you can decide how much you want to commit to this long term, whether you plan to stake and farm a lot or you plan to cash out uh, now. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and stake three. Uh, it's about $2.72. Uh, the values come down on the airdrop. Uh, and again, depending on when uh, you see this, the value was a lot higher. Uh, when I started claiming this originally in a couple of other wallets, uh, that was really, really late last night. Um, and as of this morning, you guys can see uh, value still floating around right now. But overall, it was a pretty decent sized airdrop. Uh, that was dropped. Uh, so depending on, I, I don't know how, how much you got, um, and not a bad airdrop and everything worked fairly smooth to me. Uh, first airdrop in a while that actually was, uh, pretty smooth to just transition and do everything. Uh, the process of getting my full airdrop, uh, selling the airdrop and then IBC transferring that bad boy out of there. Um, you know, pretty easy, not very, not very bad at all. So, all right, as you guys can see, a uh, couple of pop-ups happened for me. I did the the staking and I was able to claim their additional uh, tokens and it has that added to my balance. We'll go through and we'll do the rest of it. When you swap Cree, it only gives you the Crescent token. It only gives you the option to swap it into the liquid staking version of Crescent. So technically by swapping, you're actually swapping and entering into uh, like a swap transaction right here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just do that and we'll swap the transaction out. All right. And then when it comes time for anyone looking to cash out, 
I would actually recommend, and again, you can actually probably now, there might be enough liquidity where you can use UST, um, but to cash out and get it off the network, I was using Atom uh, and I IBC transferred it back to the main Atom network. From there, I transferred that to Osmosis, uh, swapped that out for UST and then sent that to uh, a Terra Station wallet. So again, uh, I don't know whatever it is you want to do with it. Uh, I got it in, you know, there's multiple wallets for it. So uh, I have a bag which I kept and then I have other bags which I, uh, I cashed out and definitely will become Bitcoin. Uh, so that's it, guys. As you can see, I went ahead and I did the other claim, got additional drop of it. We're going to go over here and now we're going to pull a little bit of this. So we'll come over. We're going to drop this into the pool and we'll just go ahead and do uh, the max of it. So we'll pull about $8 worth of tokens, hit approve. And also a couple of things with this, they do offer gasless transactions for the swap. And even in the docs, it says, unless there becomes a need to have uh, gas in the transactions, uh, they don't see a reason they're going to charge any gas on the swaps. And I thought that was pretty cool. Now, once you pull, guys, don't forget to come over here and click farm. I like that a little red button pops up and lets you know you have some stuff that you can go ahead and farm. Uh, drop your tokens to the farm so that way you can go ahead and earn. Uh, I have been in the Discord, and I know you guys see the 0% APRs and APYs that are going on currently. Currently, there are no rewards that are, are happening. Um, rewards are set to start. So if you decide to jump in these pools early, uh, no rewards will be starting up. All right. So we've gone ahead and we've done that. And the last thing to do now is just to vote. There are two proposals that are open out there, guys. My recommendation, you want to come through, read through them, hit the vote. And that is it, guys. You will have claimed the full entirety of your airdrop. All right. Now, in this wallet, I personally actually don't need Crescent. Um, as I said, guys, I got it in other ones and it was a fairly decent amount. Um, very happy with the amount. So with this amount, I'm just going to for the purpose of this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and, you know, cash out if you decided you no longer or you didn't want to do Crescent. Maybe you just need the money, you need the cash, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Um, it's your project. It's your money. It's your airdrop. You can do what you want. We're going to go over here to B Crescent. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll sell out uh, 300 of it. So we'll cash out. Yeah, let's, yeah, we'll cash out majority of it. And I'm going to sell that into B Crescent. All right. Once I do that, B Crescent is going to give me the opportunity to swap out into more tokens. All right. So I'll have the opportunity to swap out into a, a lot more uh, different tokens that I want to go ahead and get into. Once you have B Crescent, you can then swap out for uh, Luna, UST, or Atom. The reason why I was recommending that you swap into Atom uh, is yesterday when I uh, was doing this, I found that when I was trying to IBC transfer the UST out uh, to other networks, the transaction was failing um, and it wasn't going through. But when I IBC transferred Atom to the network, the main hub network, uh, that went through fine. So it was just like using Atom as a transport vehicle for the cash uh, to get to the final destination. So we're going to go ahead and swap that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and swap that over there. We'll swap the whole thing out, get us about um, almost close to 10 Atom. Uh, so we'll get 9.9, .9, confirm the swap. Uh, another thing I did notice when doing swaps, just in case you guys had it, when I would do the swap, I would hit confirm. I would approve it in my actual Kepler. It would come over here as it is now where it says successful broadcast, uh, waiting to be included in the block. Um, and then nothing would happen. So sometimes like the transaction would fail and it wouldn't even let me know it failed. Um, and then other times you can see it would come up with the delayed response of successful transaction. So my transaction is successful. There we go. Uh, I noticed in the Discord, a couple of people were having issues and trouble transferring or IBC transferring their Atom out of uh, the Crescent network. What I found, um, what you guys can do, guys, you can go to Mint Scan. I've shared with you this tool uh, numerous times before. Here is where you guys are able to come to IBC Relayers and you guys can find the relay that you need um to send the transaction out of there so as you can see guys it's telling you channel 326 and channel one are the relayers that you need to use however what i want to show you guys what what i did is and this is what worked for me um and again i did this in multiple wallets and it worked for me so hopefully it works for you 
Uh, what I did when I was ready to do the IBC transfer, let me come down. I went to transfer down here. You go to select chain, new IBC transfer, and then I selected channel one. I noticed in the discord, a lot of people were saying that they were putting channel 326 and it was not allowing them to. Um, they were trying to put different channel numbers. Some people were saying, hey, I put channel zero and it was a failing channel 326 and it was failing. Um, use channel one. All right. Um, so I just used IBC and we're going to go ahead and do this right now. Uh, and we're going to use a oh, one address that would help. Let me go get my Cosmos address copy and then we're going to move back to Terra. nope not Terra. i'm sorry it's crescent that we want to go to crescent one all right and then we are going to ibc transfer this select chain and then again i just went down you do new ibc transfer you would come to cosmos hub and then you do channel one that is what i selected and that's why you can see i've got channel one right there i'll paste my recipient address which is me and then I'm going to select how much atom it is I want to transfer. I'm going to go ahead and transfer. Well, we'll transfer all of it. Submit, transfer, approve. And that's it, guys. Um, you can go ahead and send that out of there. And again, you can probably use the UST by now, or you can use the Terra Luna by now if you decide to swap into that. Uh, depending on when you watch this video, I know everyone will see this video at different times. Um, but again, I tried to do this late last night. Um, when the drop just like got fresh released and everything. So there wasn't enough liquidity at that time. Now I can go over there and I can check back in my Cosmos wallet and I can wait to see when my nine atom drop uh, should drop in a second. Just give it a little moment. Uh, the IBC relay, the networks are uh, moving a little bit slow. I will tell you that, uh, especially when I was trying to move um, my UST from the Kepler, I mean, from Osmosis network to the Terra network, uh, that was moving a little slow. You might have to increase the gas just to let you guys know that. All right. So there you go. You can see my nine atom have hit. That is it guys. That is how you claim your airdrop. Uh, you get it out of there and you IBC transfer it. So that way, if you want to go ahead and cash that out, you can. Uh, the additional steps you would need to do, uh, in my opinion, just to go ahead and easily get that to UST, uh, you would just come over to the Osmosis Network. What you can do is you hit deposit. You can go ahead and deposit your atom over here to Osmosis. Once, the Os once it gets over here, um, at that point, you can swap it into UST. From UST, you can then transfer it into uh, the Terra network on your Kepler wallet. All right, guys, uh, fairly simple. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll just run through the rest of it just so you guys can see. Um, and again, this would just be a process that you would want to do if you decided that you wanted to go like cash all the way out. And you may uh, be able to do it simpler now if you can directly just get UST uh, without having uh, to wait. So here we go, swapping that out. And there we go, guys, we made that airdrop real money. It's important sometimes, you know, when you have all these good gains, these profits, these airdrops, you got to make some of it real, guys. It doesn't count if all you do is just ever look at it, turn it into real money, make it real, make it actually count. Uh, and that's it, guys. Now you can come on over here and you can withdraw this uh, to your Terra station. Um, Terra, your, not Terra station, your Kepler terror wallet uh again and for me it was moving a little slow so what i found that i was doing i was just coming over here uh and i was adding and i was just updating like the gas fees uh and by updating like gas fees and stuff um it just helped me to get the ibc transfer to move and get transferred a lot quicker because when i was trying to do it it like legit took like more than like a couple 20 to 30 minutes which would normally never take that long and that's it as you can see it has moved my money and i have done the full process and that's it guys i just wanted to go through show you how to go ahead and get your free money claim uh again your free airdrop you decide what you want to do with it if uh, crescent network is a project and an opportunity that you think has uh explosive potential or you think they have future gains ahead of them you may want to hold on to it if not go ahead and cash that bad boy out and turn it into bitcoin you can never go wrong turning it into bitcoin i hope this video was helpful and i will catch you all on the next video